Dear Stefan, who would have thought seven and a half years ago two friends would make a decision on a soccer field that would lead to today? As a promise of this love, I promise to be your biggest support, to hold you up and to rise above, to be your shoulder to lean on in times of need, to be your rock when you need to hold steady, to lend an ear when you need to feel heard, and to communicate clearly, freely, and openly. This I bow to you, to love and cherish for better or worse, for rich or poor, in sickness or health. Love your soon-to-be wife. As of the time of writing this letter, we have been dating for seven years, ten months, four weeks, and one day. Through this time, every second spent with you has been exceedingly better than every second spent without you. You've helped me in the worst of times and celebrated with me in the best of times. You truly are an amazing woman. I vow to you to continuously show my affection and appreciation for you as you are and will be the only one I love. To raise our children privy to your beliefs and customs, to ease your burdens in trying times, to support and indulge your interests, to show you the world through a life of travel, to encourage and help facilitate important changes that you would like to make in your life, to always love you. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration, dear brothers and sisters. For now we stand with Stephan and Cassandra on the day when they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayer as their brothers and sisters. Let us listen attentively with them to the word that God speaks to us today. Then, with the Holy Church, let us humbly pray to God the Father, through Christ our Lord, for this couple, his servants, that he lovingly accepts them, bless them, and makes them always one. Be attentive to your, our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness pour out your grace on these servants, Stephan and Cassandra, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another, through Christ our Lord. Amen. He has given us the ability to love and the capacity to hope. It's one reason among, among many why when we celebrate the sacrament of matrimony it is considered a sacrament. It is a sign of God's grace. By marrying one another, you are saying more than just I do. You are saying I do love and I do hope. You are affirming the mystery of that. And saying that you care for one another and will always care for one another no matter what. You started off really well. You are saying you believe your future will be brighter because this other person will become part of it. You are saying that you want to be part of a chain in history that stretches back to the beginning of time, beginning with Adam and Eve, and you want to continue that story. You are saying that you will continue that story by becoming a family to one another and welcoming children and letting God continue his creative work in the world. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments made in one flesh. May they be blameless in all they do. And with the strength that comes from the gospel, May they bear true witness to Christ before all. It is my pleasure to present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Stefan Kalizuk. <laughs> Number on speed.
You guys get to meet Mr. and Mrs. Stefan and Cassie Galajag. Cassie, when you came to live with us in Pittsburgh, I saw how Stefan would wake up early in the morning to make you breakfast. I saw how he would fuss with the details of the house to try to make it more of a home for you and less of a man cave for two college guys. I saw how he would sit with you on the couch in the evenings and just enjoy your company as you guys watched whatever TV show. I saw how he would always smile whenever you were in the house. I saw my friend falling very deeply in love. Cassie, Stefan, it brings me such great joy knowing you guys will be with each other for the rest of your lives. You know what you want. You followed your heart. This high school romance that, that will, will never, never grow, grow apart. apart. One plus one is two. Out of all there are few. That are loved. Caffeine crazed. Busy. Driven. Tired. Funny. As, as both, both of, of you. you.